Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about when the season finale for Season 7 is being released. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Just before we go into this video, remember guys, if you want to become a member of the channel, please be sure to click the join button, join and become a super super friend and above. You'll be able to join me and your fellow members on a monthly Zoom course. So, if you want that and you want to support the channel, please be sure to click the join button, which is next to the subscribe button below. Also remember that every Thursday we do a live stream, so if you guys have never joined into one of the live streams, please be sure to stick around and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that live stream on Thursday night. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. So, The Flash is currently on right now. The Season 7 premiere premiered last Tuesday, and it was great. We talked about it, we reviewed it. You guys can check out my recent Flash videos, because we went into a lot of detail about what happened in that episode. And so now that Episode 1 is aired, Episode 2 is coming out on March 9th, so that is this Tuesday. So, again, coming very soon, we're going to be covering it on this channel, with my review and breakdown coming out on the night of After It Airs. And so, with all of this, we have a seemingly confirmed finale date for The Flash Season 7. However, it must be noted, things can go south and basically go not according to plans. As seen literally just a few days ago with the announcement that Superman Lois is going away after 5 episodes, which we'll get into in just a moment, but basically that is to emphasise that plans do change. So this information about the finale date all came around when I tweeted, on my Twitter at the DC TV show. If you guys have Twitter and you don't follow me, follow me at the DC TV show. And so I put out a tweet because I calculated the dates as to when Supergirl will return and what was going on with Superman and Lois. So basically, Supergirl is coming March 30th. It will air episode 1 until episode 7, starting at the end of March and ending mid May. And then Superman and Lois will return mid May on the Tuesday time slot where Supergirl has taken over due to Superman and Lois being behind on their filming. And so this is the time slot after The Flash because obviously if you guys tuned in last week, you would have known that The Flash played before Superman and Lois. So that is the time slot that Supergirl has taken over for because Superman and Lois is behind and they need a show to fill in. And so when Superman and Lois returns mid-May, they will air their final 10 episodes for 10 weeks. And then after they finish with their season 1, Supergirl is going to take back over on its time slot after The Flash, airing their final 13 episodes before ending on October 19th, 2021. So, I calculated all of this and I posted it online, I posted it on Twitter, and that's what is currently happening as of right now, but the schedule can change like I said before. So after I put out my tweet, I got a reply on my tweet from the official Twitter account for the CW in Milwaukee, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's kind of near Chicago. And so their official account replied to my tweet and confirmed that what I said above was correct and that those are the current plans as of right now for the CW's airing schedule. But on top of this, they actually added something else in terms of The Flash and now that is what we're talking about because they confirmed that The Flash is set to go on a break very soon rather than running all the way through the season and it's good to get confirmation because we actually weren't sure about this because I mean we all know that the CW is trying to streamline their shows and not give them huge breaks like they normally would you know normally they have a huge mid-season they take like a couple of months off and then they return with their episodes for the back half of the season but this isn't happening this year because of their schedules and they want to get back to normal when fall hits. So when October comes, they want to be airing The Flash Season 8 and already be done with The Flash Season 7. So they're trying to return to normal, but obviously due to restrictions and them not being able to film, productions were delayed and the release dates were inevitably delayed and like The Flash just premiered last week in March. So we weren't 100% sure if we were actually going to have a break. I mean, I think we all expected like there to be like a one week break or something, but now we have confirmation from the CW. And before getting to the actual release date, let's talk about the episode count for this season. So, a while ago it was confirmed that The Flash won't be having its normal episode count. It's going to be having 18 episodes in season 7. That is the shortest episode count that The Flash has ever had. Normally they have 20 plus episodes, normally like 23 episodes I believe. And last season it was cut short due to the pandemic and they had 19 episodes. But they made the decision to shorten the season and have one less episode than last year. So, 
Mainly, this is to accommodate them starting Season 8 as early as possible, so they didn't want to be filming for too long up until the summer. So, basically giving the cast and crew some time off between Season 7's production ending in May sometime, and starting again a few months later, around July time-ish. We haven't had official confirmation when they're gonna exactly start again, but around some time in the summer, and they're gonna be filming, so they're gonna be trying to release Season 8 in October at a normal full date. So that is their current plan right now, we're gonna have 18 episodes this season, and so with the CW account confirming that The Flash will air 7 episodes straight, and then they will take a 2 week break. And so with this information, with us knowing that we're gonna have 7 episodes, then we're gonna take a 2 week break, and then afterwards we're gonna finish the whole season without any breaks, we can work out the exact date of the season finale. And so, let's go ahead and get into the actual date. So, Season 7 will go on a break after Episode 7 on April 13th, so obviously it started on the 2nd of March with the Season 7 premiere, then it's gonna go 7 weeks which will lead us up till April 13th, so currently right now we're on the 7th of March, so that means over a month still left of The Flash before they go on a 2 week break, and so they will be taking 2 weeks off before returning on May 4th. And so May 4th is going to be the return date, you're going to see episode 8 premiere on May 4th, and it's going to air its final 11 episodes concurrently after that. So that means every week you're going to be getting The Flash for 11 more weeks after they take that break after we reach 7 episodes. So I know that's a lot to take in, but basically the basics of it is 7 weeks from the premiere, which is now less than 7 weeks due to it premiering the other day. Then on April the 13th, we're going to go on a two-week break, and then after that two-week break, they will return on May 4th to air their final 11 episodes, and so that means that the season finale of Season 7 will officially air on July 13th. So that is the set date as of right now for The Flash's Season 7 finale, and this has been confirmed by an official CW account, so you can take these dates seriously. However, like I said before, there is still a possibility that things can change, as seen with what has happened to Superman Lois recently. But as of right now, July 13th is the Season 7 finale's date, so be excited, because Flash is going to be around for a long while, and I can't wait to actually get to there. And I think the most exciting thing is all year round we're going to have DC TV shows, because when the Flash ends, literally, Superman Lois is going to finish like a week after, or something. And then you have Supergirl literally coming out like a week after that, and then is going to air its final 13 episodes, and literally, The Flash Season 8 is going to come right after that, so it's so exciting. But before we end this video, I want to talk about a few different things I haven't been able to cover, and that is the new synopsis for Episode 3 and Episode 4 of Season 7 of The Flash. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into them. So, Sue Dearborn returns in the episode titled Mother, this is Episode 3 of Season 7, and so it goes like this. As Eva becomes more powerful, Barry and team must find a way to stop her. They are shocked when an old friend, Sue Dearborn, risks her life to help. So now this is the reintroduction of Sue and her new storyline which has been completely changed due to what happened with Hartley Sawyer recently where he got fired and basically Ralph isn't going to be around very much this season. Which would have impacted her but obviously it doesn't anymore because Eric Wallace has changed the storyline and has adapted it so it doesn't rely on Ralph being there because Ralph isn't going to be there but Sue is going to return and so as it says in this synopsis Eva has become more powerful and I don't know where this is going to lead on from, but we're going to find out in episode 2 how she gets more powerful. However, we know that there is a clone army of Evas coming in this episode, so I'm presuming this is what this is in reference to. And it goes on to say Barry and the team must find out a way to stop her. And so, we've seen from behind the scenes photos that they do find a way to stop her, and she actually sides with Team Flash against her clones. I'm not 100% sure as to why she sides with them, but it seems like maybe she comes to some sort of realization, maybe it leads on from what's happened last episode, where the ending revealed that she is in fact not the real Eva, she is a Miraverse clone of Eva because the real Eva died. Now that is definitely going to affect her story and it might affect what's going to happen and how she is defeated. So Team Flash is going to find a way. Anyway, so let's move on to the next bit. So they are shocked 
when an old friend, Sue Dearborn, risks her life to help. So the season six finale left Sue in a very tricky situation and they referenced last episode that Sue is in hiding because she was framed by Eva for killing her husband. So she's gonna come out of hiding and I'm guessing there's gonna be some sort of explanation as to why Ralph isn't gonna show up. However, this could be the episode where we see like an alternate version of Ralph you know, because he has shape-shifting abilities where we're not going to see Hartley Sawyer, but we're going to probably see someone else from the cast showing up as Ralph. And speculation has been going around that this could be Tom Kavanagh, in fact, playing Ralph. Now, I think that would be a good bet because I don't think people are looking around for a version of Wells. So that could be Ralph's cover, and it seems like Ralph is probably going to leave in this episode. But Sue is coming out of hiding, and she is going to be aiding Team Flash. But we'll have to wait and see until we get to episode 3 to find out what is going to be happening with Sue, and why is she going to be showing up a couple more times throughout the season, because Eric Wallace confirmed this. But without further ado, let's move on to the final thing. This is episode 4's synopsis. And this is how it goes. The title is Central City Strong, Episode 4 of Season 7 of The Flash, Abracadabra Returns. The Flash must deal with Abracadabra's sudden return to Central City. The villain is back with a vengeance and a score to settle. Meanwhile, Allegra deals with a tricky situation and Caitlin suspects something is off with Frost. Iris is forced to look at a dark moment in her past. Okay, so this is very, very exciting. This is our first episode post what was supposed to happen at the end of season six. So episodes one, two, and three are basically wrapping up the season six storyline and episode four is gonna be our first episode venturing into the new season. So Abracadabra is back. He is returning in this episode and the reason he is back is because he has a vengeance and a score to settle. I'm presuming the score to settle is something to do with the Flash and what happened with them the last time he showed up because remember Abracadabra appeared in season 3 and hasn't appeared since so I'm very excited to see David back because he was a very cool addition like a cool villain of the week and I'm glad that he out of anyone is coming back. Also apparently in this episode the CGI version of Bloodwork is also back. I don't think Sandor was back, the actor who played Bloodwork in the physical, but I believe the character is actually back and we know that from set photos. So what we could be seeing is some sort of villain team up between them, or perhaps I guess there is a possibility that this vengeance and score to settle is something about blood work and they work against each other and somehow one of them works with Team Flash. But that remains to be seen. So the next thing in the synopsis tease is that Allegra deals with a tricky situation and I don't know what this tricky situation is. I presume it's something to do with Wells or something to do with her job. And so in the meantime you have what's going on with Caitlyn as she suspects something is off with Frost. Now this may link into what we've seen with some behind the scenes photos a while ago where Killer Frost was being arrested. So maybe Frost is doing something kind of shady and Caitlyn doesn't know about it but she kind of suspects something at this point. So she may just be dealing with the wrong people and from what speculation was when those set photos came out, some people thought that in fact she was being set up by someone. So. Maybe there's something going down like that and it continues into the next episode or it might just be a one episode thing. We'll have to wait and see. But the last thing in the synopsis for episode 4 teases that Iris is forced to look at a dark moment in her past. Now this might have something to do with what they've been teasing to do with the Flash season 7 villain of the first graphic novel. So Eric Wallace calls each part of the season graphic novels and so graphic novel number 3 is going to have a villain and apparently it has something to do with Barry's past and it also links to directly what happens in episode 3 with them defeating Eva something is started and the synopsis definitely tease like the whole season 7 synopsis the overall one they released like a while ago teased that something was going to happen and it would be related to Barry and Iris's past and their relationship so we speculated we talked about Cobalt Blue but we'll have to wait and see as to who it is but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any flash videos remember the flash is back on this tuesday we're going to be reviewing it straight after the episode then the next day we're going to be reviewing superman lows as well and then releasing my flash trailer breakdown for episode three so exciting times turn on notifications to not miss anything but for now i'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy road.